I want to welcome you today to another edition of a small business vlog behind the scenes look at our workshop studio. We have some projects that we're working on today that I figured I would bring you along and uh, might be enjoyable. This coffee is so, so good. I have not had coffee in about a month because I have had some health issues and I decided to go ahead and detox my body from all the caffeine that I had been drinking because I think I went a little bit overboard and it definitely helped. I have been feeling much, much better. But this morning, it's June here in California. I woke up to a cloudy and rainy day. Beautiful, I love cloudy days. I love rainy days so it just made me feel warm and cozy and really desire a cup of coffee and because I've been doing so well I decided to reward myself and also get myself pumped for a great day of production here in the studio welcome to my studio welcome to my workshop we are here this is in my home but this is an area of my home that we have created our studio and this is where all the products that we have in our store at Sweet Hope Soap Co uh, and in our online store this is where everything gets made today we're gonna be cutting some soap which is always relaxing we're also gonna be jarring up some bath butter of a special scent that I've been asked for at the store that's been really popular but we're currently out so I want to go ahead and restock for this weekend and the third most important thing that we need to do today is jar up some lotion we're going to be using our new lotion machine which we have not yet used since we did our video of the unboxing so today is the day we're going to get it all set up and we're hoping to jar up some lotions with it and I hope I don't have any issues I hope it works and it works great and it makes my job a lot easier Easier. So I'm going to bring you along and we'll see how it goes uh, every step of the way. So I over whipped these last night a little bit, uh, which is why I left them overnight to just kind of deflate and now it's the perfect texture. And this is Olive Branch. It is a very, very popular scent. And our customers have been asking for it. We have an Olive Branch soap. And uh, now we have in the olive branch bath butter and this scent is just really refreshing. Okay, so one quick thing I want to say about the bath butters and those of you that are makers, um, if you have any tips for me, I am finding it quite difficult to tell when I've over whipped my whipped soap. Now let me tell you a little bit about my whipped soap. This is not a pre-made base that I buy, the popular one from Stevenson or the Crafter's Choice uh, bath butter. That is not what I'm using. So for the past few months, I've been making my own whipped soap and it is a straight soap uh, recipe from a soap paste. I make my own whipped soap on the crock pot. I make my soap uh, paste and then create a whipped soap base. 
and from there is where I create my bath butter. So if you know what I'm talking about and you make your own and you have tips for me, I would love, 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 love to see it. And maybe I'll bring you along and we'll work on a batch together so that those of you that are watching can help troubleshoot me and we can video, video every step of the way um, on what I'm doing and maybe you can help me show me what, what it is that I'm doing wrong. So I wanted to show you guys a quick demo of how our bath butter works. And just to be clear, our whipped soap is a base of mango butter, castor oil, coconut oil, and olive oil. And this creates such a lovely, creamy soap base that while it doesn't create very many bubbles, you definitely feel the cleansing action when you are using this product. Uh, you feel the exfoliation and you feel such a lovely, lovely moisture as well. So when you are done, you really don't need to use any lotion. This is such a lovely product. I love using it. My customers love it and it is just amazing. All right, and now we are moving on to our next project, which is cutting our two slabs of soap. We have uh, Captain Jack and Papi Chulo. And now the part that I have been waiting for to use my lotion filling machine for the very first time. Now the only thing that I need to get done here before we get started is to make sure that we clean this very well and sanitize it before we use it. So that is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to open it up. I am going to clean it and then put it back together make sure that everything is sanitized so we can get started pouring our very first batch of lotion. Okay, 
so we've got it all cleaned and sanitized, all put back together. So my initial thoughts on this machine is that I love it. It makes my job a whole lot easier. Filling up jars is much cleaner and quicker and we can move through uh, different batches much faster. So I think that this machine is a great investment. Um, it really is not that hard to quickly just get it cleaned in between batches and then continue your work. So I'm really excited about it. I'm glad that I, I got it and I think we've done well for today. We're going to uh, continue making more things and uh, getting ready for the shop this weekend. I do have a lot of personal uh, things happening this weekend so I will not be taking you to the shop with me but um, I will be back with another small business vlog as soon as I can just to show you guys any new updates and what is going on with Sweet Hope Soap Co. So thanks for joining me guys. Have a good one. Bye.